Happening now, a warning tonight from the parents of a 12-year-old girl after a backache landed her in the pediatric ICU on a ventilator in a medically induced coma. New special Ashley Moser join us with their message from Primary Children's Hospital tonight. Ashley? Well, this started about a month ago when Diana went swimming and came home with a sharp pain in her back. Her parents didn't think much of it until her breathing went downhill. And that's what landed her here at Primary Children's Hospital. Tonight, her parents wish they saw the signs and symptoms sooner. She's in a medical induced coma. She's not moving. There's 15 doctors and nurses working on her. Tom Parkin says it's beyond difficult to watch his 12-year-old daughter fight for her life. It's hard to see your, your child suffer. The family says this all started about a month ago after a fun day at the pool. She said that she pulled a muscle in her back swimming and that grew into a spasm. After a visit with a pediatrician and an x-ray, he said, yeah, just give her painkillers. But the pain never went away. And after two weeks, she started getting little rash or pimples that were water filled, very unusual looking. She also stopped eating and had difficulty breathing. She was life flighted to PCH where doctors told them she has a deadly infection known as MRSA, which caused an abscess in her back, pneumonia in her lungs, sepsis and respiratory failure. They're not sure exactly how it happened, but they're likely came through the lungs. Uh, she could have been in contact with somebody with it. It could have been while swimming. It could have been, they just aren't sure. The infection rapidly progressed. Diana is now kept alive on a ventilator. She's now responding to noises. There she was, beating her head to the beat, the rhythm, mouthing the words. Her parents wish they'd known the symptoms sooner. I had no idea. I wish, you know, a couple of weeks ago I would have known. They're hoping others learn from their experience. If you have a parental intuition that something's wrong, Maybe you need to ask for an MRI from your doctor. Well, doctors have told the family that Diana has a long road to recovery ahead of her. Weeks, if not months, here at Primary Children's Hospital. Friends have set up a GoFundMe to help with those medical bills. We'll put that on our website, ksltv.com. In Salt Lake City, Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News.